I visited a week later to check in on him. He seemed so much better. As soon as he saw me, he said, Nice, Americans are so weird. And I said, and how was that? He responded, they named their children after animals. And I said, how so? He said, I just met a friend at the center and his name is Dog. I then thought, oh my, we're simply just lost in translation here. I spared him the explanation that although his friend's name, Dog, is pronounced similar to the animal, it is spelled and pronounced differently. I simply replied, yes, Daniel, you're absolutely right. Americans are so weird. He then told me what had happened the day earlier. Miss, when we had a break, my new friend, Dog, or Doug, and I went to another center in Brooklyn on the way back. Miss, I missed my stop on the train and got lost and ended up in Queens. I asked for directions and he barely spoke English. And I made it back to Manhattan. I replied, you visited three out of the five boroughs during your first time ever using public transportation in this concrete jungle, you should be very proud of yourself. He looked at me and said, I miss, I'm a New Yorker now. Daniel is now living with a friend in Atlanta. I stayed in touch with him and he's doing quite well. In April, he was granted asylum. This means he won't be sent back. We got him enrolled in English classes, classes and he's working as an assistant chef at a catering company. I spoke with him recently and asked him how he was feeling. Now that he had been out of detention for a few months, he replied, estoy libre, I am free. Estoy salvo, I am safe. Y estoy agradecido a Dios, I am grateful to God. A mis abogados, I am grateful for my lawyers. Y a mi acompañante, and I am grateful to my child advocate.